All right. So I'm continuing my stream that I was streaming from tonight already. So hello everyone. This is Baby Cloud, and we are doing dungeons tonight. I, um, if you check my last video on YouTube, you'll see that I, um, I showed you um, the level 145 dungeon for Dragon Raja and um, where the hidden chest is. In this video, I'm just gonna be doing the rest of my dungeons because honestly, I just need them done and um, they give me a lot of stuff that I need during, well, that I have to do during the week, so, yeah. Okay. So, I need Code Relic now. I'm gonna do the harder ones first. Um, I still go on Relic Challenge 1. I guess it's not, like, that great. I could probably do better, but I always feel safest doing this because I know I'm not gonna die. So, that's why I do it. I will, I guess I'll try and show you how to get a hidden um, chest in this. It's just like, it's time sensitive. So like, really weird, really, but you have a certain amount of time to get the hidden chest, and it's dependent on like, how you go to the level 143 in this dungeon. So, um, it's a little more difficult. But I will try and show you, and then I guess I'll show you um, the hidden chest in the other uh, dungeons that I do. Just posting on my Instagram. If you're on my Instagram, it is Baby Cloud. Also, except I couldn't get the actual Baby Cloud, like how I spell it in my like, game and stuff like that. So it's spelled B B Y C L O O U D D. So like two O's and two D's instead of like not. Um, I just I couldn't get it. Like I I did try, but life is life, right? Okay, so there is a chest here that I want to get. Hello, go get it. <laughs> and then... Oh, I like how someone was like... <laughs> level 140 dungeons. Okay, so the dungeons are different when you do them solo. You have less... Um, less tasks to do like if you're in a group and you're doing dungeons it's gonna make you do like these like code unlocks and like different stuff like that that you have no choice but to do whereas like if you do it solo it alleviates that i don't know why um it just does sorry i have to change these to be all the same color See, like, there's stuff you can't do, like, auto in this game. Like, I know that there, you're gonna find, like, YouTubers and people talking about how, like, this game is mostly pay to win or a lot of it is auto features and, like, maybe you could auto fight for, like, some of the things, but you really can't do it for all, like, especially not the Battle Royale version or the chess match or, like, Dai or, like, there's so many, like, different things where you can't auto and then... Additionally, like for the PvP modes and like games and like events and stuff like that, um, it's better that you don't auto because it doesn't use your skills in the right way, so you have less chances of winning. So it's that. like I honestly think like it's really false. Like it is very pay to win, and like paying will obviously get you more stats and stuff like that because you're paying to buy like the items that you need to like level up your stats and like be stronger. But there's, like, I, I see this all the time, there, like, are so many games that are literally doing that, and it's, like, for every game, like, pretty much every MMORPG, um, so, I, like, ignore that because, like, whether I play, like, World of Warcraft or, um, Terra or whatever I decide to play, like, there's gonna be people who paid for like extra stats and extra items and extra things and they're gonna be like way overpowered than me. So it's not gonna stop me from playing a game that I enjoy, especially in an MMORPG. Like I still have chances of being like a really top level player if I just play for a long time. Like chances are those people who are really at the top probably are starting to play another game where they don't play as often. So so yeah, like I like playing this game a lot and i've been addicted to it for like over a year now um and like i did spend some money in it but like money more towards like getting like outfits you know because i like that but yeah like 
it's going to be like every MMORPG where you're going to be like, you have the possibility of being the best at your level. So I'm level 145. I have the possibility of being, well, n less because, no, no, equal. Like there's obviously going to be paid to win people that are level 145, but um, like who's to say that like they only started paying to win now or like paying for stats now and my stats aren't higher than them like already based on like me actually doing all of my dungeons and everything that i need like in general like it's really like you have to do your dungeons you have to do your quests like you do your sh your like your stuff in the week and then like you're obviously gonna have better chances okay this is the maze i was talking about so basically i'm gonna explain it better but basically i'm gonna take you back but this is one of the things you have to do you have to do three things in this maze to make the secret chest or the hidden chest come out and it's really hard because you have to pay attention to the messages that pop up on the screen that tell you like about the portals so i know that i just came out of that black portal so if i go in this light portal oops no that's wrong so i need to go light door means go ahead so i went ahead but that means the back door means go back because if I go back in the light door, no, no, I'm wrong again. Okay, so I need to go back in the light door. See, but this is time sensitive, so you get a little lost in this. You really have to pay attention. So basically, you start off here, okay? And you have to complete one of the puzzles from each of these three mazes. So I completed the back one. Now I'm going to go to the second one. Oh gosh, I hope I have to go in the black. Oh, don't take me back. Ah, it took me back. Okay. So I have to go in the the what uh the i guess the white portal dark door means go ahead okay so now if i go in the dark door i'm gonna go to where i need to go exactly see so the next maze is where you have to fight this little green dude he's gonna run away when half his life is done you have to follow him but the door usually changes upon like going to no maybe it won't maybe it won't okay it didn't so i mean it usually changes before he like leaves and then the light door is the one you have to go through but yeah, so I just completed two of the mazes and so now I have to go back. The light door means go ahead, the dark door means back. I think he just said that, I think. Um, oh no, dark door means go ahead, light door means go back, okay. Okay, so now I only have one puzzle left and it's this one. And this one's actually like a puzzle. See, it brings you here. And so you actually have to click on this little key and do the puzzle. It's a fairly easy puzzle. They don't make it too, too hard. So, yeah, just figure it out and you could do it. All right, so when you complete all the puzzles, it will automatically bring you here. It should have put a secret chest here. I think that was a glitch because you guys literally saw that I completed all the puzzles. Um, I think that was a glitch because it was supposed to have my secret chest here. Because when you complete all the puzzles, you get a secret chest. So, I'm a little confused. I kind of want to restart. Um, but it's so time consuming that I guess, like, when you're watching the next dungeon. Wow, that was so messed up. Like, I literally did all three, all three puzzles and it didn't give me anything. to express this to the world. Okay. so like done with my inventory always being full it's so annoying yeah like none of this is auto like if i like get hit by this rock and i don't want to avoid them like this is not auto like you can't auto this 
or you can't auto like certain things even in dungeons so um people saying like this game is like really like like auto based and pay to win are wrong i just need to clear the air on that and everyone has their different views i'm okay with that but this is my view and i think it's wrong i think so you get hit or else you actually have damage done to you, it makes you immune to the like, some more. Unlock that. Open this chest. Ooh, another unlock. No, I already unlocked that one. Oh yes, this is a good stat. Okay, what's my weakest stat? This one? It's 114. That's a good stat. Red stat. My club is doing clash, so I think I'm gonna join them before I move on to another dungeon. And I know Blitz is there, and it's calling me. It's just like calling my name. But my comrades will technically tell me. So clash is basically when your club has to do as much damage as possible in the shadow. Um, and another club that we're against is also how to do some things with the next time as they can kind of as possible to do. This is not auto, see like none of these skills are going to use, you can do a few, but this time I do the actual thing to do. So yeah, both clubs have to try to do as much damage as they can, um, and what, whatever time is, you can do five minutes or something. Um, and the club with the most damage wins. Uh, and then also, there's extra rewards for you know, people who do the most damage. Like the top three people, well, I think it's like a little more than that, but. Like, it will auto me, like, just regular fighting, but it won't auto any of my attacks. Like, I have to click all of them. I don't ever click that one that much, because it just, like, stops the person all the time. I'm not really sure what that is actually. It's really good. Like, it's I really like this guy. Oh, there were three things that haven't used my phone, so I go back to the dungeon. I also need to get rid of this. Oh, 
strawberries are sad. They're, sorry, stats. They're buffs to stats. They're stats. So each of them got is like a different buff. So I'm going to try and the monster. So yeah, they each have their own stats. So this is MS, and health and strike in two hours. This is their journey to be a deep, critical, deep, 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 a lot of club members right now and they probably finished yeah they finished before me so they just left um but damage accumulates like for each one of us that goes in after because this event lasts from like i think it started at 10 to whatever like i think it's like tomorrow or the day after something like that it ends, like I would be having such a amount of time to like attack this, this Odin shadow. And then um, the damage goes towards that like contest we have against the other club. So you won't be doing class, for example, if you're not in a club and you're playing Dragon Robo. Some people, like for a while, I was one of those players who was like, no, I'm gonna stay like independent, kind of like going off of this whole like um, SAO thing, Sword Art Online, which is an anime about, like, a person who got stuck in, like, yard gear to, like, the world, a virtual, like, MMORPG, and if you actually die, you die in real life, um, yeah, and so what happened in that show, in that anime show, is that the main character wanted to stay alone because every time he partied with people and they died because he hid from them that he was previously a beta tester so he knew, he knew like a little bit more about it and his stats were a little bit higher than everybody else's and he kind of did that but because of that he went into like higher level dungeons with like his party that he made friends with and they ended up dying as soon as he died in real life and it hurt him so bad that he just decided to like play on his own and be like a, a solo leveler solo player. He became such a top solo leveler um, that eventually like he got to a point where he had to team up with people and like so for me I did similar to the same thing in this game I tried to do solo for like a really long time and then yeah and then I had taken a break from this game honestly and then I came back and I ended up being in the hero club and I've been there ever since I just didn't like leave and I stayed and and I made friends with people that I I was with, and it kind of went like that. And that's how I got my club. All right, so let's try this code relic again because that was really annoying. I have to say, I'm really not impressed with hap what happened there because I did all of the mazes, and you guys saw that. <laughs> I'm gonna like title this video on YouTube like like glitch <laughs> in level 140 maze didn't give me my chest. Oh yeah, for whoever's watching this and doesn't understand why my scene, like my overlay of my, um, like all of this, like so we didn't stream here with the little snowman, sorry to be inside, um, is because I'm doing stream this, so I'm going to try and stream every day of December, um, and this will be like the stream. <laughs> I think it's cute. I like it. It's a good stream theme. Okay, I didn't take any water. I'm getting thirsty. I'm parched. <laughs> Excuse me. I have the hiccups. I breathe too fast. Oh my god! I get it right. Mm 
I never go in the auction because the auction you actually have to pay money and yeah, like real life money. This is auction for things that I'm just sad. But like not everyone is gonna get money all the time in this game. And for people who don't have money to spend, and it's Christmas time. Always a blue dog. again. Alright, so I'm going to start with this one, the maze one, because I feel like it's the easiest one, because it just leads you to it. I'm going to try and be quicker than I was before. Alright. That's one. You guys saw that. Alright, so now we're gonna go do the little green monster that you guys had seen before. Ooh, please don't take me. Okay, perfect. Okay. Bring me in before it changes. Perfect. Now I'm gonna kill a little green monster. Dark door means retreat, so I need to do that. Where are you, dark door? Dark door. All right, last one. What's the one where I have to? Um, like touch the stone. So the dark door means go ahead now because I went into the light door and it made me retreat. Dark door, perfect! Alright, see? So now I've completed all the mage challenges. Literally all of them. It's gonna spawn me to the place where I should be getting a chest. And the mysterious treasure appeared. So the other one was a glitch. See, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. And it if you're questioning whether it's like the order in which you do it, I've already done it like other times where I've switched up the order. Um, and I always got the chest. So like previously, if you just seen me do that, like they just cheated me out of the chest basically. But it's okay, I don't really care. Like, it is what it is. get this chest and finish up this dungeon and be on to the next dungeon. This is good. I'm getting my dungeons out of the way. I haven't gotten one that I could sell yet, which is really upsetting though. Like a piece of gear, sorry, not a dungeon or anything. Um, I need to get gear that I could 
sell drac go on it see like this i i can't just auto this i can't auto this button. this you actually have to click and you have to do it yourself you like you know you to be stronger and because like if you don't pay to win and you want to like bring your stats up if you do your dungeons and you get gear that you could sell for diamonds okay you could use those diamonds to buy stuff that you need to raise your stats now it's not guaranteed that you're always gonna get stuff from the dungeons that you're always gonna get stuff you sell but sometimes you get extra lucky um, especially when you take a luck center, like you haven't been as lucky as you have different days with the luck with all the others. So, you do have chances, and then a lot of people end up spending their diamonds on like, like things like their house, like I do. But if I spend no, no, all the senior. diamonds that I She's use on my house nice on my actual ca character, I'll take it I get a lot stronger we'll than together. I am right now. And I don't care to be stronger because I know my, my character is pretty really strong. Like I am level 145. The server cap is only 150. Um, not a lot of people are 150. I also know that I'm like the 230 like first player that reached level 145, um, which means like out of like the hundreds of players that play this game, like way more than 200 and whatever it is. Um, they haven't even reached like 145 and 145 comes with like you know different unlocks like for example my pet support and stuff like that which like gives me more stats so already i'm at an advantage compared to players who are under me even though there are some stronger players than me that are like lower levels because they pay to win but i'm still like higher like in damage and all of that than like a lot of pay to win 
people because I'm just like higher level. But like, it does, like there are gonna be like, let's say there's like a level 144 and you need to win, it's much higher like, um, like stat and rating than like, it happens, but I'm definitely like higher than like a lot of other people. Like, some people's BR is at, like, 16 mil already, I'm only at 848,000, so I'm still doing, like, really good. Like, if you look at my rank, like, in my, my, in my class, as a Blade Master, I'm 45, level, I'm 251, and closing is home, 28, which I like. Hi, Nikki, Nikki KH, nice to meet you. Happy that you're chatting. I always love when people chat with me. I always tell people to chat with me um, in videos. I just find it makes for better. It is just fun. It's a conversation. Do you play Raja? Do you play Dragon Raja? Or are you just like coming in and looking? Have you. I would assume that you play it, but I could be wrong. Like, you could just be trying to discover a new game. Oh no, did I take the chest? I don't think I took it. There's me, just missing items. So I don't know if you heard my question, but I asked if you, if you play Dragon Raja. If you do... Um, like what level are you? What server are you from? Are we in the same server? Have we already like encountered each other? It's possible. All right, so now we're back to this thing. Uh, dark door means go ahead. See, like, this, none of this, is, um, auto. You have to do this yourself. Hello, teleport me. I'm just going to, because it was really a test, my new overlay for winter, I'm just going to fix... No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm just going to fix the chat a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. I feel like that's good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Oh, I'm <laughs> it's time limited on this. Light door means go ahead. Okay, so dark door means back. Alright, let's do this one. Do you play? You didn't um you didn't tell me if you play. <laughs> oh I like your like mean face. Come on. in the maze. Ah, oh, I'm lost! <laughs> oh no! Dark door means go ahead, while light door means go back. Okay. I hope I have enough time to get the last chest. I'm confused on which chest I did now. I think I have to do this one last. Nikki! Do you play Dragon Raja? Do you play this game? Maybe you didn't understand my question. Do you play this game? Like, do you already play it? Or are you just, like, like discovering a new game? It's supposed to... I feel like there's a glitch going on right now. It's supposed to bring me to... What is going on? Let me go back. 
Did I not complete this? No, I completed it. There's a glitch going on. It's supposed to bring me back to um, where I get the hidden chest now. I'm trying to go back to see like if there's something. Nope. In addition to not bringing me back, it's also not showing me the messages. Okay, nice. Well, you should play it. You should download it. It's very big. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do. What is going on? Oh no, I'm stuck in the maze. having a, a party. I have to exit the dungeon because it was really glitching. I don't know Castle what College happened there. Castle was founded by the secret society of hybrids. That was really upsetting. As you know, the college's ultimate goal is to wipe out all dragons. I don't want to wipe out all dragons. Oh, dungeons can be so annoying. <laughs> All right, we're trying again. Hopefully this time it doesn't glitch. Level 145 dungeons. So Okay, I already collect collected that chest, unless, let's just make sure. <clears throat> Showing me all my career stuff, you should always do your career stuff. <coughs> you can what? What do you mean, Nikki? I should have done that extra thing. Hold on, I'm gonna open that back up. Because I didn't finish. Is there anything you want to know? Oh, yes, I can win. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> it's because it glitched. It, it wasn't giving me my reward. Actually, it wasn't just, it, like, it just wasn't bringing me anywhere. I was stuck. Come on. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. We're gonna get through this. <laughs> and then I can finally get to the other dungeon. So basically you have, in, like during the week, it asks you to do like, however many dungeons, depending on your level. So like these are all the dungeons that I have to complete. So like there's two of these left, I'm doing one of them now. One of these, two of these, two of these, and then it's optional to do the rest because because of my level, the reward is affected by your level. So because my level is so much higher than, for example, level 110, I won't get really any rewards for doing those dungeons. So I go and do dungeons up until God's Challenge. 115 maybe even less sometimes like now um 
but yeah, you have to complete those in the week, and then you get extra dungeons on the weekend, which is kind of cool. Um, and then apart from that, if you check the week, it has like different events every day at different times. So you check them like this, you see like what times different events are running. And these are just like the solo things that you can do in the week that are under trial. There's also time limited, so I'm supposed to do five of these a day, but at least do one of them and ask you. And so these are cross-server battles, you're against another server, all very random. This is like Fortnite, it's a battle royale style, um, where you're against like 30 people, or something like that, maybe less. And there's just like all different other things that you could do in the week. Um, and like these are just like repeating like what kind of they are like these are challenge specifically is your dungeons career is like things you should do for your career i just haven't done any really this week um i haven't had time i've been busy with school so it is what it is all right let's try this again <sighs> dark door means go ahead so we're going ahead Oop, oop, dark door. Oh no, I think it's gonna do it again to us. Alright. I have to collect the dragon bloodstone. Done. So now I'm gonna go back. Dark door, I think, changed and is now in the back. Yep. Alright. So dark door now means go ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead. Hopefully this works now. Oh. Oh, no. Is he there? Yeah, okay. Alright, I have one more puzzle to do. It better work this time. Oh no, how do I go back? Light door, okay. Alright, the last puzzle that I have to do is this one. So after completing these three puzzles, I should get the hidden chest and it should spawn me there. Okay, I'm just not gonna touch anything. It should, yes, there we go. So there's the hidden chest. It doesn't matter how you do, like in what order you do the puzzles. Um, if you saw in like the previous, I guess, part of this, you would have seen that I did it a different way, like a different order, I still got the chest, so. So yeah, that is that. We are moving forward. Alright. I like this thunder dog thing. I thought it was really cute when I first saw it. I just encountered it. Um, it is so cute. In my opinion, they put a lot of detail into this game. Like, I don't really care what any other thing or YouTuber says. I think this is a really great game. And like, there's really not a lot of lags or anything. You can play it on your phone, which is really convenient. You can also play it on PC. This is the PC version, but it's literally the same as the mobile version. And I just think it's like really good quality. Like, I've played many other games, and I have to say, like, for example, Okay, well, this is bad. I'm like giving a bad example while I'm supposed to be going through things. Like, okay. If you see, you can see all the detail that they put into this game. Like the trees, like everything, like everything. And I think it's great. And the story mode, impeccable, unbelievable. And English speaking. So like sometimes you play games where like, the actual characters or whatever it is, they can see English. Um, oh, Nikki followed me! Thank you for following! I always do the cute thing, that's the best. Good way to 
show who's following me. I'll call you back after. Um, what was I saying? My god. <laughs> I get so distracted of what she's saying. My head goes in so many different places. I don't know what I was saying. I was basically saying I think it's a good game. That's pretty much it. Oh, oh, I need to defend myself now. With this dude just flying above me. You could have children in this, in this game if you guys don't know. This is one of my children. I grew him, like I, I raised him from like being like a little, like, like nothing to what he is, like to a baby, to a child. It's really cute. Hi! Shania! Shania? Is that how you say your name? I hope I said it right. I try really hard to pronounce all the Twitch names that come in chat. Awesome. Well, I'm really excited. Like, if you guys end up getting into my server, which is um, S7 Bronze City, um, like, add me. I always love having the players. If you don't find a good club, like, join my club. They're very active. They talk. They're really nice people. And yeah. Welcome, Shania. Oh, close to saying it. Okay. Sh Naya, Shania, Isamo, Shania, ah, I tried, I really did, I'm trying, if only you could like speak voice to me, then it would be easier. Alright, I completed that dungeon, I'm sure you guys want to see a different dungeon now, so I'll get into one. Oh nice, yes you should, it's very active, like there's a lot going on in my server, <clears throat> there's a world boss happening right now. But it's a weaker world boss, and I feel like it's not worth it. It's not compared to punish kind of these things. Okay, so there's Nightmare Destiny that I gotta do. Oh! Shania! Awesome! Um, is, is that your la- Wait, Shania is emo? Is that what it is? Or is it Shania Hisamo? It could be your last name. It could be Shania is emo, or Shania- He's some <laughs> Could be either one of them. But nice to meet you. I like this stuff. There's like a little cat. Hi, hi, hi. It's cute. Aw, you guys are so nice. Talking and chatting. I love that. It makes you feel less lonely and like I'm talking to like no one. <laughs> I know that some people watch these streams after, but still. It gets lonely. There's someone else who's watching. I don't know who they are, but I hope they like talk in the chat soon. Okay, nice, cool. Well, I feel that I know <laughs> what that is like to feel a little emo. Oh, especially in the winter. <laughs> um, do you guys live where there's snow? Like, do you guys have rough winters? Because I live in Canada and we have some really rough winters. Like, it already started snowing here, and it's really depressing and really sad, and it's already cold, and I'm just like, oh, I hate it. So, I never bothered to find where the hidden chest is in this dungeon. I honestly have no idea. Um, yeah, I just never bothered because I'm past the like 10 levels past this now. I didn't think I needed it. Oh yes, you're in Texas! I think we've already spoken before, but um I was reading up on Texas recently. Um for some reason I was talking with my my boyfriend about we were talking about tornadoes and how people should have tornado insurance. And I was like, I've heard that like in Texas, there's a place called Tornado Alley where there's like the most amount of tornadoes in the world. And uh, I was just talking about like, he was saying how there's no such thing as tornado insurance on houses. And I was arguing saying like, yes, there is because there's Tornado Alley. Ah, oh, you're so lucky, Nikki. And, uh, and yeah, and then I thought back to that there was someone I talked to that told me they were from Texas. And uh, I'm kind of curious, do you get tornadoes? 
Yes! Awesome! Um, do you, do you, have you ever seen a tornado? Do you get tornadoes? Because where I live, we don't really have tornadoes. It's not really a thing. Like, there's been tornado warnings, but they're not really, like, tornadoes that would, like, rip your house apart or anything like that. So, I was curious since, like, Texas, like, Tornado Alley is in Texas, and I was curious if you guys are, like, you get that. We get more, like, ice storms and stuff, so. Ice and snowstorms. Snowstorms are so shitty. <laughs> but yeah, have you ever had to deal with a tornado? Or like an earthquake or something? I mean, I guess they could happen everywhere. Like I was reading up, tornadoes really can happen everywhere. Um, but, but they happen mostly in that part of Texas. But I think with global warming, it's probably gonna change because yeah. Oh my gosh, really? Was it scary? Like, is it like what you see in like TV and movies? Because that's what I picture a tornado as. Like, I picture it as like, like I've seen movies where like people are showing you like a tornado in the background and I'm like, oh my god, like, like how scary is that? Like, what do you do? Do you, do people in Texas and places that are prone to tornadoes, like, do you have like a bunker? Like, what do you do? Oh my gosh, I'd be so scared, I'd be freaking out. <sighs> and like, I want to travel the world and like definitely go to Texas as well. And so, I'm always like, Oops, I have to go into these like little cool things. Um, or else I just get killed. Um, yeah, but I kind of want to see a tornado. Like, I'd be scared, but I really do want to see a tornado. I'm like so interested. I don't know, natural, human, uh, sorry, natural like disasters are kind of cool to me. Like I never want to be in a tsunami, but I'd like to see one. Like if I was on a mountain and I could watch a tsunami where it wouldn't like affect me or anybody else, I would like that. Just like to see it. But I feel like it's really bad and it really like ruins people's homes and a whole bunch of other stuff. Tornadoes equally the same thing, and earthquakes too. Wow. Do they do like tornado drills at school? It's funny how like different places in the world, like for example like other places have like volcanic eruptions like frequently, so like I guess those people would be I don't know what people that have volcanoes around them do. Oh gosh. So so you go into the attic? I feel like the attic would be so dangerous. Is your emoji I'm trying to think it, it's not an emoji actual one. Oh, they're just like I guess a custom one. <laughs> My Capamon was like, hi. Alright, moving on to the next dungeon. <laughs> so many dungeons! Wow, that's pretty interesting. The only time we have to do a drill like that is like for like gun safety, like if there's like an intruder in the school or something, we need to like stay safe. Um, that's the only time we really ever do like under the desk things. And then fires, we obviously leave the building, but I can only imagine for tornadoes. It's scary. And volcanoes, my god. I can't even imagine. A volcano. That just like burns everything around you. Ooh, I got a gold, uh, a gold thing that I can't sell. Ooh, that's awesome. Well, I hope that if I ever get enough uh, followers and stuff like that, that I could, um, I'm going to make my own emotes. My boyfriend is actually a graphic designer, um, like pretty professional, he has everything, so um, I told him to 
Like eventually I wanted to make a custom overlay like for my actual like, Twitch streaming. Um, so like the boxes like all around me and stuff like that. I can make my own custom one. And then also my own custom emotes and stuff like that. Like when I when I get approved and I can have stuff and stuff like that. Uh, I think it'll be really cool. I don't know if you could make like moving ones. I'm gonna try and get it to make some moving ones because I feel like that is really cool. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. Like, is it, is the streamer, like, who is the streamer? Is it uh, a person and these are, like, emotes of her? I'm gonna have to, like, get him to do art and, like, do, little, like, little cartoon, <laughs> little cartoon me's. I feel like me, as a little cartoon, uh, like, sitting on a little cloud, because it goes with my, um, my gamer tag, I feel like that would be really cute. And, like, with different faces, maybe I could do something similar, like, me on a little cloud, cloud with different faces, but... Uh, with the emotes from Dragon Raja, like for example, like me looking, I don't know, <laughs> this this one's a bad example, but you know, something like this, or like this, or I don't know, some, some cute face like that. I feel like that would be super cute. But that's awesome. I wonder how it works when you actually are able to let people um, subscribe and, and make emotes. Like I wonder, can you like make as many as you want? Like, I don't know how that works. All right, guys, for the hidden chest on this, um, instead of fighting this, like, petty bear snow monster uh, over here, you need to always go to the left. If you fight both of the snow monsters, this one and the ghost bear, you will get the secret chest. So you really have to attack these things with the bear inside of it. Yeah, I don't know why gamers say that this game is all auto. It really isn't like, you would not be able to pass this dungeon if you just tried to auto all of this. Like, it just wouldn't work. Ooh. What do you mean she is mute? Like, she doesn't speak on it? Like, she just streams, like, the gameplay? She doesn't actually talk? I feel like I'm never gonna get there. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna take me forever to, to get to that. Like 12 <laughs> followers now, and you have to get 50. Maybe if I do stream this, maybe I'll become a Twitch partner. But I guess it just depends how good you are and, and everything like that. Honestly, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it and I feel like talking to people. Um, yeah, because most of my friends are not actually into video games, like my friends in real life. Um, I feel like they're less into video games. They know that I'm really big into video games, but even my boyfriend, like, I try and drag him to play Switch with me. I have, like, Mario's 3D World, and I pre-ordered the Pokemon, um, Xerxes, and, like, I just try and beg him to play with me, or, like, my friends, and they just really don't want to. Wow, that's really interesting. Um, what is her her stream name? I'd like to go and check her out. I'm actually very interested in seeing things like that. I mean, I, I could have done that too, but I feel like it's funner when you see like the person and you get to interact with them. But hey, if she's cool, she's cool. I like I love her emotes. They they look awesome. She's been streaming VR chat. VR chat is like Nobody. I'm just gonna go and do that okay. now on my phone so I don't lose What games does she play? Oh my gosh, she has 9k fo followers. Oh my god, it's so cute. VR chat. Oh! 
I don't really understand what it is. I'm gonna have to look it up some more. Is VR chat like she's playing VR games? Like, I'm confused. Or is like she makes like a little person and then that person represents her? I don't know. What is VR chat? Is it a game? Help, tell me. <laughs> I have no idea. I think it is for VR gaming, from what I am reading about it. Interesting. Very interesting. I need to figure out how to put this better. Maybe like this. Uh oh. But it gets cut off at the top. I feel like that's really small, but I had to play around with the chat before it is, like, good. I think that's good. Very cool. So you need like an Oculus Rift to play it, right? Like you can't just like play it on PC or something. Or it is like a virtual world you could play. They just created like um, Sim Stories or something like that. I've been playing it a lot. I um, I really didn't want to download Bluestacks again, but I think I might just to like show it for one of my extremist days. Cause I've been really addicted to it. I also really like Avakin life, Avakin. I think that that is a pretty cool, uh, um, a pretty cool, like, first world game, first world world. But I'm curious if, like, you need... Did I do a lot of them? I'm gonna do another one of these, because I just wanna finish it. I wonder if you can only play on, uh, with a, like, VR system. Oh yeah, you can play on PC? Okay, cool. Well, I kind of want to check it out. I always love Virtual World, so I might check that out. Do you play it? Like, what can you do in it? Um, I'm gonna... Wow, I see you. It's so cool! Yeah, you can play it on Steam. Yeah, I might, uh, I might get that. I'm gonna try it. I'm interested in seeing what it's all about. I always love, like, seeing what other streamers and people are, like, playing and doing, trying new things. Um, I've, I haven't been streaming all of the new things that I've been, like, playing, but that's, like, literally only because I didn't want to have a mobile emulator. <laughs> Um, but if I could find other games that don't need that, then I'll definitely do it. I was also thinking of like, okay, this could be lame, but you could tell me what you think. Um, and other people could comment on this video afterwards and tell me what they think also. But if I did like, if I tried like Christmas themed games, like I feel like that's kind of weird. But like, I also think like it's kind of funny if I like tried different Christmas games during the month of December. But like, who really wants to play a Christmas game? But like, who doesn't? I don't know. I think I'm gonna try it. 
But also, like, most games, um, as of December, have, like, some sort of, like, Christmas update. And then there's, like, Christmas things you could work towards, so... This one hasn't really done that yet. I'm assuming the update is going to be this week. And that, like, the theme stuff will be added. Remember Mama. Don't you wish that, um, that Twitch, like, included the emoticons from emojis, whatever you want to call them, from Dragon Raja? I feel like they're so necessary. Oh man, I have so many weekly dungeons to do. Oh, really? I could do that. I didn't even think of considering to do that. Maybe I'll do that, like, right after this, but I like the baby cloud theme that I have going on like this, you know? Like, I, I like I like this, but maybe I'll switch it up. Let me see. Let's see. I know I have a lot of dyes and stuff, so I definitely can do it. Um, I'm gonna pick an outfit and make it Christmas theme, and then every time I come game on here, um, it'll show that. Ah, these are all great stats. Whatever. I got a little bit better off of that. Did I defeat it? Almost. Alright, let's go to the outfits. I feel like using the special Christmas, well, wintery outfit that we all kind of got as a from in-game events is not bad for this season. And to just like change it like to green and red would not be a bad idea. I don't know. What do you think? I could like dye it and change it to like green and red. <laughs> I feel like it suits the winter month. Or something else, like I could do like this. This is also from an in-game event. Something along these lines. Maybe this green and red. I feel like that would be so weird and so different, but kind of cool. I might do that outfit. I'm going to save it right now. I'm going to go here. The answer. This is Cross Cry. <laughs> A thicky. Cute. going here. Originally my character I tried to make look more like me so she had like black hair and like my skin color and stuff like that and then I was like nah I want to go with like the baby cloud theme and go with like white and blue and that's how I ended up here. Oh no I don't know which one to go through. This one. Yeah, like after I finish this stream, I'm actually gonna go back to studying, which is so depressing, but I have a research paper to do, and I need to do some readings and stuff, but I wanted to really make streaming a priority, so here we are. Okay, I think this is the last one I need to do. Well, Shania, you have the pleasure of being one of the first people that chats with me and follows me. I guess, well, I don't think you follow yet, but one of the first people. And that'll be cool if I ever get anywhere with this. Like, 
I'll remember you and like shout you out and stuff like that and be like, you talked to me first. So, so yeah, that's cool. Oh my god, really? Fun to play. Oh, they were called F2P. Wow, that's such a drag because they were really obviously whales, so they were obviously pay to pay to win. But you never know with a club because you could get like members that are like really just giant whales, so I don't know. It's a hit or a miss. Like sometimes you'll be the whales and sometimes they will, but I feel that we like I I dropped in at I came in on at like 9 10 and the club battle had started at 8.50, so I was only like a little bit, like not that that late, like it didn't actually start at 8.50, but like the opening for like you to join started at that time, you would know. Um, and then when I got in, it had already told me that we won and we were doing our club feast, so I, I missed out, I didn't even, like I don't even know who we battled, like I have no idea. I guess I could kind of check. But whoever they were, I think that we ended up being the whales. Yeah, we went against love. Mash and go. Ooh, nope. Leaderboard. Nope. Battle records. Rank. Nope. I was trying to look for... I was trying to look for the score of, like, who got what, but... Anyways, we're nowhere close to, like, the higher ranked clubs. I accept everyone in our club because I just think it's nice like that. Like, you have to give the lower level people a chance, right? So we have, like, people from all different levels in this club. I don't know why Cross Cry changed their name. Cost money to change your name. What they should implement in this game is like similar to other games there, where you could like at least there's something where you could earn like the uh, the paid like in real life paid currency. Like we should be able to earn like this currency somehow. Like not it be like impossible unless you buy it. I feel like they should at least let us like even if it's like a little bit, then like you could at least save during certain events and use it for what you want. I think that's the only thing this game is really, like, truly missing to, like, make it a little bit better than balance. Oh yeah, we do that too. We purge people. I always find it so sad. I'm just like, oh my god, it's the purge! And then everybody's writing in the club chat, like, it's the purge, it's the purge! I see all these names like just getting like kicked and dying. It's, it's really sad. I try never to do like I never want to be one kicking because I feel so bad. Um, funny thing. I guess. No funny thing yet. Cute. Yeah, the purge is always so sad. <laughs> I feel that on so many levels. But I feel like we've purged so much that there's not a lot of people left that haven't played for months. Like, if I go down. Okay, there's a there's some month one. Like this one's eight hours, two days. I don't think we have many. Okay, nineteen months ago. I think it's just because they're like a, a player, maybe they're one of our um friends, like friends that are actually in our Discord or something like that. So they stay the Gome, Lumiere. Yeah, I think these are a lot of like like our friends and like if they come back, because they say they'll come back, if they do come back and when they come back, then we still are able to um, have them. But we don't really have like a limit on who like gets a hit, like how much is like that as you can see. So yeah, I guess it's, it's like, if you haven't been on for months and you also don't talk to us in chat or like on the Discord, then we thank you. But if you do chat with us and tell us like something's happening, or I don't know, you just let us know then 
we don't need you. This is good. Yay! I got an orange item that I still cannot sell. I need items I can sell. I'm like broken diamonds. Ah. So setting. Yeah, I'll have one. Yes, please. All right. I've done. Okay, well, I still have a lot of Lucy to do, but really don't want to do that and miss out on a snow moon. So I need to do a crossover. Do 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 do. While I'm waiting for crossover, I might as well do my crazy adventures. Oh, but I didn't do the kitchen quest yet. There's so many things I have to do. I'm probably gonna do it. Like. Ah, I have to study too. I have so many things I have to do. I'm just like, ah. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna do my snow moon and then I'm gonna call it a night because I need to read and do so many other things. But I will be on tomorrow night, probably around this time. Like, I'm gonna aim for nine because that's when events start, like actual um, timed events. So if you do want to catch me, it'll probably- well, actually no, it won't be at 9, because I think I finished class late that night. Um, maybe it will be. I'm gonna aim for 9, but if it's not 9, then I'll probably do it tomorrow morning, like my stream tomorrow morning, because it is the first, and I want to make sure that I do my Vlogmas streaming. I'm gonna call this one like pre-Vlogmas on YouTube. Um, yeah. I'm so used to the music in this um in this game now. Oh my god, Shania, if you're still there, who's your favorite character from the story mode? Mine is Johan Chu. I really love Johan. And I really love Ari. I know she's like kinda weird and silent, but I really love those characters. I think they're they're great. Oh, I'm gonna have to make like a thumbnail for these videos. Thinking about making thumbnails is like the most depressing part of uploading this on YouTube. Or no thumbnail. Oh, yay! We have, like, the same people! So, for whoever's watching and don't know who these characters are, I will show you. That's actually Ari and Luminous, who are just on that screen just now. But, this is Nono. She's so I don't have nice. an extra so skill. Gorgeous. So what? Oops. I don't need one to deal with a little... I really Aerie. like so this beautiful. world. But this world doesn't like me. I like how a lot of them are, like, redheads. Very interesting. Already Johan. I like the bear Johan that I just got. I think he's so cute. I'm not gonna use him because I don't think his stats are good for anything, but I don't even think I can show you guys anymore. Nope, we're in crossover. Alright. Let's see ooh, like the highest kill counts I could get. Because I do think I'm somewhat of a little bit. I'm a mini whale. I like that my sword is glowing. It makes me feel really happy. I wonder how long this cat thing lasts. Let's see. Is it considered a buff? Oh, yeah it is. 27 minutes. Look how cute. I can't do it. I don't even know why I tried. All right. I like seeing my character like up close. I put like a little star on his face. I thought it was cute. Just 
just here waiting. Alright. Maybe I should try and be more active in this. Oh no, they're coming for me. Okay, wait. Oh, they're Are they whales? Oh my god, they're whales. Look at my health. Wow. That was depressing. I'm gonna have to go in through a different portal. Sometimes you just get a crossover full of whales. Who's attacking me? I don't even see anyone. Okay. Alright. S7 Bronze City. I think I'm gonna type it in the chat. I'll kill it. I think that when you're in the section where you want to see your server, if you just scroll down, if I'm not mistaken, it'll show you like the like some of the first servers that you could join, and you should see. Them. Maybe I should go block a different access part. Just a bunch of mini rails over here. Except for that person running away. No, don't chase. Attack this person. Wow, I don't get it. <gasps> this person's strong, I guess. So gen. Where is she? Oh right here. Well, if me and Sojin are here. We have better luck at fighting everyone, basically. I feel like because he's here, though, that I should try and help somewhere else, so I'm going to do that. Oh my god, I'm going to do this. That's an STD, guys. That is an STD. No, not this person! Okay, I should probably help my people. See, this person is a lower level than me, but they're way stronger. Definitely a place to land. Never defeat them if I keep his own health. If I let him just run away. Oh. So much is happening. It's going crazy all over the screen. Alright, let's get back in there. When did I get those crazy wing things? Do you guys see those wings I'm talking about? They were like blue and like like black. I'm gonna help go get this crystal. Here! These, these, these. Look at these wing things. Yes. We're losing, so definitely help. Oh, I want to take the crystal. I want to take the crystal. Ooh, I got that kill. Let me take it, let me take it. Oh no, there's another enemy. But they're dead. No, let me take it. Aww. So sad. It's okay, I'll defend. I'll defend. Thank you. 
se no lui ti prende non trovo mai altro non è che trovo Where the crystal go? Let me help. Oh! Wow, what a mega fight. Oh, stealthy. Pretty strong there. The toes are now coming. I'm gonna die and have to stop. I didn't even have a chance to like attack anyone. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, this is a top there too. Top there like in this round. Ooh, Samantha, you are strong. Okay. So clearly going to the crystal is not necessarily the move, but because they are all at the crystal, it is leaving one of their bases wide open. Watch, these people are going, so I'm gonna go steal one of their crystals. Because <laughs> we are in the lead now in technicality. It's not really great that I'm ditching my team right now, or like, the side, but it is what it is. Yay, Sojin! Oh, you're going to the battle? Yeah! Oh, Conti is here too. Surprise. I mean, like, when you're in a server, you get to know the people in your server. Someone just trying to attack me. I don't know why they're attacking me. They have no chances. I think I'm just gonna come and block this, like, this place. Fight me. Up close. Up close. And I'll basically have a seizure from all of these flashy lights going on. <laughs> buff. Yes. Alright. Now go back and block them. Attack me. One person in death. Alright. I'm 
gonna go back to that spot because it was a great spot if I know how to get back to it. Oh, I landed up. Uh, I landed on the wrong side, but okay. Let me just. I'm gonna get killed right away, but I can't believe that the same crystal is still there. No, wait, 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 wait! This will protect me a little bit. Selfies on the other side, no wonder we're dying. I don't even know why. At least we won! My team won! Yay! <laughs> One last kill? No, I'm not gonna get it. At least I finished in 9. 23 kills, 28 assists, and 12 raw. It's pretty good. Well, I'm gonna end the stream here and this YouTube video. So, if you're not already following me, follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube to follow any gaming streams that you did miss, like my videos, um, follow me on Instagram, I will follow you back, and yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow for the start of Streamless. Bye everyone, have a really amazing night. My